Well, nearly every weekend you can find a gun show in our area and certainly around the state. And we wonder how these new rules will impact customers and sellers. News Channel 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh has been tracking down info all day long and continues our team coverage. Jonathan, private sellers will be impacted the most. Absolutely, because gun shops by law already have to do these background checks. Now, if the owners of a shop go to a show to sell, there have been rules that the guy to the table next to them might not have had to follow until now. Todd Karam owns the Cleveland Armory. He told me private sellers at gun shows will now have the same rules as gun shops. As a dealer, we have to do background checks no matter what time of the day it is, no matter what location we do them at. Whereas as a private seller, when they go to these gun shows, they're taking advantage of a location of market. Todd told me he's in favor of a level playing field and for additional thorough background checks for gun purchases. Background checks are real simple in the terms that we're looking for some kind of criminal activity. National security expert Tim Dimoff is based out of the Akron area. He doesn't think your personal safety is at risk. He told me many people feel gun show loopholes need to be tightened up, adding a small percentage of people will be upset by the changes and will not appreciate additional hassles. They might be looking at it as this is too much of Big Brother watching. Uh, sticking their hands into areas they shouldn't. Some gun show promoters I talked to today did not want to go on camera, but did say they think the president is going about this in the wrong way. They feel the rights of private sellers are being taken away and sales will take a bullet injured by the new rules. Todd doesn't think that's the case. There's no reason to panic about these new laws. Um, the intent is to improve everyone's safety. And keep this in mind, I found this study done by the New York Times that shows with 15 recent mass shootings right here in the U.S., including San Bernardino, the vast majority of the guns used were purchased legally with background checks. Plus, there were mistakes made in some of those checks. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5. All right, Jonathan, we have an in-depth look at the president's executive orders on gun control on our NewsNet 5 app.